So I'm here with Akshay Venkatesh, one of the Fields Medal winners. Um, congratulations. How does it feel to have won the Fields Medal? Uh, it's a very um, unique experience. <laughs> and um, your work centers on number theory. Can you give us an idea of what drew you to that area? Number theory is very easy to appreciate if you're, uh, even when you know very little about maths. Um, you can start playing with numbers and you can notice patterns and so it's very easy to appreciate when you're a high school student or an undergraduate more so I would say than some of the other areas and your work connects areas that sort of border number theory um, and we've noticed in a lot of the other prize lectures and other plenaries there are these strong connections between different areas of maths do you think that's an important part of current mathematics? I'm not sure, um, but it is, a, it is a great thing to see that many of the core areas of math link up with each other. And um, I think we not, who knows why that is, but, but it's pretty marvelous. And we really enjoyed your lecture. Uh, we, particularly for those of us without the mathematical background, it still gave us a flavor of the math, but also the process of doing maths. What's your experience of doing maths and, and sort of those stages of doing maths? Um, well, I think over my career, the moved from working on problems which were very clearly identifiable as problems, more towards situations where it's been less clear what the um, relevant directions to go in are. And, uh, and I, I've enjoyed that progression. And what, what is it that helps you find that path? I, I could use some help, actually. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. It's, it's hard. You, you work out examples. You have, to, you have to know lots of examples. You have to... Um, right. You... you you, you really need, or for me, I need a lot of examples. So I, I think, uh, for example, what, what I've been working on most recently, there was a long period where I was just I was, uh, doing, working out some stuff which maybe was not so interesting, but in retrospect, uh, it was building up a very um, good set of um, examples where I had where I had a kind of complete intuition for what was going on and, and without that I certainly would never have gone further. And one of the things that you said in your lecture is your work is kind of conjectures and some of them are based on conjectures yeah. and that's quite strange for people who are outside of mathematics they don't think of things as as, um, as things being in the air like that. Yeah. How do you know when when you're on a good conjecture, how do, you, how do you know when you're ready to make it public? Why do you make public conjectures as a mathematician? Well, conjectures are very important. That they, shape, they kind of shape what we do. They give something, people something specific to aim at. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I think that they, they help us focus our attention on what... Um, it's a way of trying to focus our attention on one particular feature of a landscape which we think is, is worthy of attention. And usually, uh, by making a conjecture, uh, you've, you've, you have uh, narrowed it down to a single question which can be expressed in a, like mathematicians like very um, clearly defined problems. And uh, so you're trying to distill one of those. Well, thank you very much. I hope you have a, enjoy the rest of the Congress. Oh, thanks a lot.